Chapter 1. A Growing Distance It started with an innocent comment or so I thought. My husband Jake had always been the sociable type, the kind of guy who'd strike up conversations with strangers and charm his way through situations that would make others uncomfortable. In the beginning, this was one of the things I admired about him. He was confident, always able to put me at ease. But lately, something felt off. It had been five years since Jake and I met, and two years since we married. For the most part, things were good. We had our share of ups and downs, like any couple. But lately, there were more downs than ups. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but there was this growing distance between us. And then, about three months ago, I overheard him late at night on the phone, whispering, Good night, baby, I heard him say in a voice that made my heart freeze. I got up quietly and walked to the living room, my pulse quickening with each step. Jake was on the phone, his back to me, and when he realized I was there, he fumbled with his phone, trying to hide whatever conversation he was having. It's nothing, he said quickly. Seeing the look on my face, I was on TikTok, just talking to some girls. They're lesbians. It's harmless. Harmless, my mind reeled. He had called someone baby that didn't sound harmless at all. A fight broke out between us. Words we didn't mean were exchanged. But somehow, I let it go. I didn't want to be the paranoid wife. After all, Jake said they were just friends. And maybe, just maybe, I was overreacting. But the seed of doubt had been planted. Chapter 2. The Accusation Fast forward three months later, and we were having a normal weekend. Or at least, that's how it started. We were at home when Jake got into a heated argument on Facebook. I heard him shouting at his phone, cursing under his breath. I came into the room just in time to hear him yelling at some guy. What's going on? I asked, confused. Nothing, just some asshole accusing me of texting his wife, Jake snapped. His face flushed with anger. Wait, what? Jake showed me the conversation. A man had confronted him, claiming that Jake had messaged his wife on Facebook, saying, What's up, pretty? Jake denied it, calling the man crazy, and the argument escalated quickly. Before I knew it, the man had tracked Jake down and showed up at our door. I'll never forget the sight of him standing there, a gun in his hand, yelling at Jake. The cops were called, and in the chaos that followed, I learned the truth. Jake had messaged the woman. It wasn't an innocent misunderstanding, it was real. As the police diffused the situation, the weight of Jake's betrayal hit me like a punch to the gut. He had lied to me again. Chapter 3. Unraveling the Truth After the police left, I sat alone in our living room, my mind racing. Jake didn't come back inside for hours. He was outside, pacing, probably trying to figure out how to explain himself. When he finally did come back in, I confronted him. Let me see your phone, I demanded. What for? He asked, his voice defensive. I need to see it, I insisted, my patience wearing thin. Reluctantly, he handed me his phone, and what I found made my stomach churn. His TikTok messages were filled with women, half-naked, flirty, suggestive messages, exchanged between him and women I didn't know. One conversation in particular stood out. The woman had given Jake her address, and he had replied, Is that an invitation? After that, the conversation went silent, but the implication was clear. My hands trembled as I showed him the messages. What is this? I demanded, my voice barely steady. It's nothing, Jake said, but his voice lacked the confidence it usually had. You're just looking for things, twisting them around. I stared at him in disbelief. Was he really going to gaslight me after everything I had just seen? I pointed to the date on the messages, August 3. He couldn't deny it, the proof was right in front of us. And yet, he tried to minimize it, to convince me that I was blowing things out of proportion. Chapter 4. Silence and Reflection For the next 24 hours, I didn't speak to Jake. I couldn't. I needed time to think to process everything that had happened.
We had been together for five years. I had loved him, trusted him, and now it felt like my entire world was unraveling. I replayed every moment in my mind, from the first time I caught him on the phone late at night, to the confrontation with the man on Facebook, to the TikTok messages I found. It wasn't just one thing, it was a pattern of deceit. Jake had crossed a line, and I couldn't ignore it anymore. Was this cheating? I didn't have to ask myself that question. I already knew the answer. Maybe he hadn't physically cheated, or at least he claimed he hadn't, but emotional infidelity hurt just as much. The lies, the flirting, the secrecy, it was all too much. Chapter 5. Conflicted Choices Divorce. The word echoed in my mind like a drumbeat. We had been married for only two years, but in those two years, we had built a life together. Was I really ready to walk away from all of that? Part of me wanted to fight for our marriage. After all, no relationship is perfect, right? Maybe this was just a rough patch, something we could work through if we tried. But another part of me, a louder part, was screaming at me to leave. How could I stay with someone who had betrayed my trust so completely? The next morning, I sat down with a cup of coffee, staring out the window. Jake was still asleep in the bedroom, unaware of the storm raging in my mind. I thought about the person I had been before I met him independent, strong, sure of myself. Over the past few years, I had lost some of that confidence, and now, I realized why. Jake's lies had slowly eroded my sense of self, and I had allowed it to happen. I had a choice to make. Chapter 6. Seeking Answers Before making any decisions, I needed to talk to someone. I called my best friend Sarah and told her everything. Sarah had always been my rock, the person I could turn to when things got tough. Do you think I'm overreacting? I asked her, my voice trembling with uncertainty. No, Sarah said firmly. You're not overreacting. What he did was wrong. He betrayed your trust, and that's not something you can just brush off. Hearing her say those words out loud gave me a sense of validation I hadn't realized I needed. But it didn't make the decision any easier. I don't know if I can forgive him, I admitted. And you don't have to, Sarah reminded me. You deserve someone who respects you, who doesn't lie to you. She was right, but that didn't make the situation any less painful. I knew what I had to do, but taking that step felt like jumping off a cliff into the unknown. Chapter 7. Confrontation Later that evening, I confronted Jake. He had been tiptoeing around me all day, sensing that something was wrong, but too afraid to address it. I can't do this anymore, I told him, my voice steady even though my heart was pounding. Jake looked at me, his eyes wide with shock. What do you mean? I mean us, I said. I can't stay in a marriage where I don't feel respected or valued. You've lied to me, you've been messaging other women, and I can't trust you anymore. Jake tried to protest, but I held up my hand, cutting him off. I'm not saying this to hurt you. I'm saying this because it's the truth. I've spent the last two years trying to build something with you but you've been tearing it down behind my back. His face crumpled, and for a moment, I saw a flicker of regret in his eyes. But it was too late. The damage had been done, and there was no going back. Chapter 8. The Decision That night, after Jake went to bed, I sat alone in the living room, staring at my wedding ring. It felt heavy on my finger, like a symbol of something that had once been beautiful, but had now become a burden. I slipped the ring off and placed it on the table in front of me. In the morning, I would talk to a lawyer. I didn't know what the future held, but I knew that I couldn't continue living in the shadow of Jake's lies. I deserved better. And for the first time in a long time, I felt a sense of peace.